right guys we are back and this is part two of the build series where we're making a dual motor arma infraction with a carbon fiber chassis but one motor is going to be powering the front two wheels and then one motor is going to be powering the back two wheels it's going to be a pretty unique build we have two different motor mounts so we're going to be able to change gears for both the front and rear uh, if we want, we could run this thing front wheel drive. We could run this thing rear wheel drive. Hopefully guys, we're gonna be able to finish this build today. Uh, we're back at KDRC Customs, getting the rest of the car put together. This is what we got so far from the last build. And if you wanna see part one of this build series, I'll put the link to that video in the description. All right, so we're thinking about, I originally was gonna put the ESC here um, and then the cap hacks up top, but now we're thinking take the ESC, put it here, put the cap hack right here, and then just tape the cap hack on the side here. And then we'll have all this room for the batteries and the batteries will just sit diagonal across from each other. And uh, that's how, I think that's how we're gonna have to make it work. The wires are gonna be a little bit longer than I wanted them to be, but it is what it is at this point. So the reason I'm at KDRC Customs is because, well, one, he's my friend, and two, he is a master RC builder, and he is by far the most skilled person I know at soldering. So being this is going to be by far my most expensive and fast build, I've asked Kurt to help me solder on the cat pack. So we were on to the next part, and right now what we're doing is we're measuring out where we're gonna put our battery straps. So I have two metal battery straps. I made a template, so I'm marking out where I'm gonna be drilling the holes, um, positioning the straps so I have enough room for the two different batteries that we're gonna be putting here ultimately. And basically I'm just doing everything I can to make sure that they look straight. And then the last thing that I have to do is I have to put everything on the car, on the chassis, where it's gonna be, so I can measure if this is actually gonna fit the two batteries. And right here, we are countersinking the holes so that the screw heads can fit flush with the chassis. Basically, I'm just doing everything I can to make sure that they look straight. Oh, uh, this one got a little crooked and then that one got a little crooked. So it's not the end of the world. <laughs> I definitely was rushing a little bit. So the next step is to actually solder on the connectors to the ESC. I'm using QS8 connectors. I find that these are probably the best connectors for speed running. Either these or just the eight millimeter bullets. So the next part of the build is cleaning the chassis with an alcohol pad. We're doing this so when we mount our ESC and cat pack, it stays permanently. Looking good. So I've been trying to figure out how to get this brace actually installed. It didn't fit here and it doesn't seem to fit there without any sort of like spacer. Then I realized I'm no longer running any sort of chassis brace um, with the carbon chassis. So I think what I'm gonna do, because if this is here and then that's there, that's the perfect spacer. Um, that's exactly what I was missing. So I think what I'm gonna do is use this as just like a spacer. So let's go get that done. So I forgot to film this part, but all I did was just cut the brace off. So it's just leaving the spacer part. I didn't see any good videos online showing this, but you have to take this part off in order to make the brace fit in the front. So what I'll do is I'll show you exactly how I put that back together and then you could reverse engineer it to learn how to take it out. Now we're gonna be installing the receiver. So I'm putting double-sided tape on it, and then I'm gonna lay it down on the center brace. 
and I even have this device that's gonna hold my receiver wires at the perfect angle to get the most range out of my receiver. Alrighty, so we're gonna calibrate the first ESC. And I guess I forgot to record myself calibrating the ESCs. I know, you guys really wanted to see ESCs being calibrated, so I'd recommend looking that up on YouTube, but I don't have it here, so let's move on. All right, so we got the, this will be the slave ESC, and we're going to hook it up like this, like so. And then this will be the master, and we'll hook it up like so. And then just this off the Y wire, is gonna go into the receiver. Definitely have a lot of wires to, to figure out. Alrighty, so all the wires are out of the way. Let's get one of these on. I'm just putting the battery on here. I'll put the other battery like so, just to test it, make sure it works. The first thing is, I'll turn it this way because you always want to turn on the master first and then the slave. So what I'm going to do, get my controller, turn my controller on. This is exciting. Um, we're going to turn the master on first. Let's make sure there's no wires touching under the gears. Keep them all away. And we got the master. And then we have the slave. We got turning. Let's go! Oh my god, that's so cool! That's so freaking cool. So we have a motor running the rear wheels and then a motor running the front wheels and they're totally separate. This is so crazy. Oh, we gotta get the, actually, you know what? We gotta do the batteries first. Batteries and then we'll take it out. This has been a long process. I am stoked. Just wanted to take this time to shout out James McCoy for all the help with getting the car set up. Take this, dry it up. I have it pre-cut already right center of the battery, like so. So the battery's gonna go like that, pull the wires this way, and then really what I'm doing is I'm pushing it up against the cat pack, like that. The wire above the cat pack, that. And then we have these apex straps. Look at that, guys. Woo! Let's go! Okay, for the first test, I added a light in the rear, and then I added a light in the front. Um, it's, it's dark out now, but I just wanna go out, make sure that everything seems good, um, and yeah, I'm just excited to use it. So we're just gonna drive it up and down the block, and hopefully everything goes well. At the maiden voyage, Definitely gonna need more brakes, holy cow.